Well, up until just recently, the little lady in this group called Georgie Moller was the fastest race car on the racetrack all weekend with a 14-4. She's got some work to do from position number six. She'd love to be able to copy the big sister, Ashley, that's for sure, and put an Australia one on the car. She's got some very, very tough competition in front of her. Actually, I'll be interested to see if under those body panels, what tyres that Cody Malley is running in this one. Because treaded tyres aren't mandatory, I believe. So if you feel the track goes black enough, you can put slicks on it. I know Kai Malley had slicks on his um, last cart. What's Cody got on it? I can't really see from here. 20 laps a journey. Yellow lights are out, Trev. That means we fly this time by. Sun setting over the back of the grandstand. Waiting for the signal of green. Melly to lead him away. We are under green and flying down into one and two. Cody Malley, as you would expect, gets the jump nicely through one and two up the back straight. Everybody else trying to get in where they fit in. Cars on the top side, ripping the lip. De Bono in second at the moment in cart number 10, followed by Callan Manning in 21. Then we got a battle royal going on behind them as well, side by side. Cart 32, that's Marley Sim. Then on the inside is Taylor Stoddard at 43. We've got two getting together here, and that's cart number seven and cart number 56. That'll be Joy Cart and Lily Bullock. So one in the bank. Make that two. Now, Malley got out of the gate best. De Bono had a, didn't get quite as good a run off the front row. But he still managed to hold on to that second. Callum Manning from the Lockyer Valley. So, uh, local Queenslander, for want of a better word. And back there in third, followed by Taylor Stoddard in 43. And Marley Sims in 32. Certainly alive and well up in these uh, front of the field. Maka, what a weekend. These juniors just turned it on. The seniors have turned it on. The ladies have turned it on. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Uh, the go-karts really have come alive here at Mirabar Speedway. I hope it's entertained you at home on Clay the View. Certainly has kept us very riveted all weekend here at Mirabar Speedway. 18 laps left in this one. Have a look at the freight train, Trev. It is one very long snake as it makes its way. Down through turns one and two. Pretty well a quarter of a lap snake. Maybe slightly under close enough. Georgie Moller moving up a spot. No doubting the leader though, Cody Malley. Brody DeBono. Kaylin Manning, Taylor Stotter, Georgie Moller, Marley Sims. Sam Nusifora, Jack Eddy, Madeline Brook, and James Brook. That is the 10. Yellow's still out at the uh, tower. They've got to make sure they go into the position, I believe, of when they last crossed the start-finish line on the last completed lap, which was the first lap of the event, essentially, looking at 19 to go on the board now. Yeah, we add that extra lap, go back one. Want to thank our timing guys for keeping us well and truly updated all weekend. Chris and Bun's up there doing a great job. As we get on the gas and we go green. Melly leads away to Bono with Manning. The top three started to break away right from the get-go. Tyler Stoddard, Georgie Moller. Go back to Marley Sims. 
Sam Nusifora needs to be able to get on the backside of Sims. Needs to stay in touch. Mally starts to pull away. De Bono, all of a sudden, a lonely second. Plenty of battles going on mid-pack. The battle at the racetrack at the moment is three, four, five, six, and seven, Trev. Certainly there. George Muller putting the pressure on Taylor Stoddart. They're effectively teammates. In behind them is Marley Sims in car 32. Looking to use the track a little bit more. There's Marley Sims. Gets up the inside of Georgie Muller. Moves up another spot. Now up the inside and the yellows are out. Yeah, problems for Reds. Georgie. That car just stopped. Oh, that's the reason why the far side. We were watching the battle up front. And unfortunately, didn't see what happened on the back straight. Count 16, I believe. Go kart scattered everywhere down the back side of the race straight. That is John Emery. As he gets the helmet off. Crash crew as always, Trev. Safety first here at Mirabar Speedway. Got there as quick as they possibly can. He climbs out of the car, folks. Put your hands together for John Emery. The S16 machine, very emotional. We won't put a microphone underneath his chin. We'll just ask him the same old question. John, you're okay? You want to let mum and dad know you're all right? I'm good, I'm fine. Okay. Do you know what happened? Oh, I just got loose on the exit of turn two and it's just slid up and just hit, hit, the, hit the rough stuff. Been a fantastic weekend up to that point. Uh, better. Um, yeah, the car was running excellent. It was, it was going forwards. Just you come I'm done that way. Yeah, mate, I can see the emotion. We'll let you go and grab a drink. Congratulations, well done on a real weekend. Thank you. Good on you, mate. They put so much into it, you know, and it doesn't take much at all, and it unravels a whole lot. Yeah, it certainly does, and you can see that look on John's face. You know, he. Uh, There we go, firing them up. They all appear to be fired up. So we got Cody Malley, who'll start off the front, of course. Current Australia 1, defending his title. Then we got Brody De Bono in New South Wales 10. Callan Manning in Maribara 21. Taylor Stoddard, Maribara 43. Rounding out the top five, Georgie Moller in Maribara 5. So our timing shows that they will be lining up. Marley Sims behind then in Tasmania, 32. Sam Nusifora in Sun State, 17. Jack Eddy in Sun State, 54. Madeline Brooks in New South Wales, 44. Rock Hughes, Yarra Valley, 15. That's the top 10. How they're shown on timing. Yellows are still out. This is why you gotta put that extra bit of safety fuel in those tanks. You don't put it in for 20 laps because the odds are it'll be more. I do the fuel on the midget and that is no different. You're always balancing up how much to put in, how much safety, but you don't want to run overweight. Absolutely. Yellow lights are out. We are set to go. 16 laps left to run. And Cody Malley puts his foot on the gas, takes the Bono along with him for the ride. Manning tucks into third from Stothard and Moller. Everybody up front got away nicely. Sims right in amongst it now. Marley having a good look on the back side of Moller. Sweeps to the top side. Will she get it done? Yes, she does. Puts Moller back a spot. Marley Sims on the charge. 
She's got the 43 of Stothard now in her sights. Manning goes to the top, sorry, to the bottom. Stothard goes to the top. That opened the door up for Marley Sims. She gets through. Stothard washed up into the marbles there and uh, actually slipped back a couple of spots. Sims on the charge, gets herself with the top three. Sorry, top four. As Melly runs away with it at the moment to Bono. Then we go back to Manning, Sims and Moller. Oh, contact there going down the main straight. Certainly some um, squirreling going on. A little bit further back that was. Cody Malley absolutely driving away with a 13.930. And he need, they need to push it any harder. Second coming at the moment is Brody De Bono in New South Wales 10. Then we got a battle. Well, not for much longer. Marley Sims has moved up in the third. Callum Manning in the fourth. Lachlan Saxby comes to the infield in cart 51. Georgie trying to get around the outside of Manning as he goes down to the one-two turn. The battle for five and four. Moller on the top. Manning in the gutter. Moller comes back down. She has to get back in the wheel tracks. She lost momentum, Trev. That was the problem for the five. Yep, and as soon as you do that, then you've got to wind it back up for one of a better word. Then amongst that's cart 54 as well. Close right up on that. That's young Jack Eddie. Eddie's moved up into fifth. Trying to get down around the outside to take fourth. Jack Eddie having a beautiful drive at the moment, getting right in amongst it. Down the back straight and finds himself now right on the hammer of Georgie Muller, the battle for fourth and fifth. The leaders are gone. They've separated right around the racetrack. Cody Malley doing it easy. Brady to Bono, a fair way back in second. Then we go back to Marley Sims in third. The battle on the racetrack is four, five, six, and seven. This four is now up into uh, sixth position. Manning back to seventh, followed by Stoddard. Lap starting to wind down. There'll be three to go next time by. Jack Eddy still Looking having a big run track. at Georgie Moller. He just keeps calm and trying to get a pass on. Then drops a couple of spots. Lunges back again like he is now. Trying to cross over. Tried the outside on entry. Cross over to inside on exit. Georgie's just got that car planted nicely. Not to allow any room for him to get past at this stage. Cody Malley looking at the back markers with two laps left to run. The Australian title hold up. Looking to go back to back. Up onto the back markers now. Knows he doesn't have to do anything silly. Gets it nice and comfortable. White flag flies. Melly from Tabono. Back to Marley Sims, who's had a fantastic weekend. Cody Melly, get it out of the soft stuff. Yellow. Oh, Moller. Coming to the flag. And unfortunately, Georgie Moller. I think that's young Partridge, is it? Uh, semi Nisifora, I think it is, in Sun State 17. Oh, what a shame. So close, Cody Malley. You know, I could see the flag from here. Literally no more than 50 metres away from the checker. Look, some might think, why didn't they let it run? Well, you're going across the checker at full speed and the incident is in turn one. So there's too big a risk of something else going wrong. Georgie Moller obviously got hurt in that crash. We'll send the EMT down there. We'll stay away. Getting greedy there, Craig. Craig from uh, CH Images, having a camera for each arm nowadays. Oh, just having a rest is what you're really about, eh? 
Craig's playing shy. <laughs> he hasn't got a shy bone in his body. He laughed at you there, Macca. So, Georgie just in the hands of the EMT at the moment. Watching the battles go on as uh, everybody was coming to the flag. So, missed out to see what happened there. Georgie's ended up a long way off the racetrack. She might have uh, injured the foot or the leg. That's a shame. We missed out what happened there. So, unfortunately, Georgie has decided to retire. It's unfortunate. She was running fourth. But she's A-OK, -okay, Mum. That's the main thing. And she'll get a ride back in the Mini. As they drag the M5 up out of the way. Plenty of advice coming from the fence to the carts that are uh, stopped on the track. What a weekend it's been here. Friday was practice. Practice got rained out. Not such a good start to an Australian Championship weekend. However, yesterday the weather turned nice. Had got throughout the day a few little hold ups regarding um, the sun going down and, and that, but no big deal. It was a well run day this morning, rained really early this morning. And uh, when I woke up and the swag had water coming on it, I thought, oh, this isn't a good start to the day. When I actually got out of bed, which I had a little sleep in, the sun was up and everything was drying nicely. Had a couple of scares throughout the day where we had a couple of very light spots. But thus far, that's good, and we're getting down into the final stages of the SKAA Australian Speedway Kart Titles. Proudly sponsored by Benson Karts. Yeah, a little bit of pain there in the uh, leg, unfortunately, for Georgie, and has decided to retire the M5. So with two laps left to run, the green-white checker, after putting up a fantastic battle and having a ripper weekend to that point, she will uh, decide to sit this one out. So looking to refire the go-karts very, very shortly as the yellows come back on. We were hoping to be finished by now, Trev. Unfortunately, we've still got a couple to go. A couple of hold-ups, you know. It's, it's not that uncommon. It is Speedway. People are trying to go as fast as they can and get as many positions as they can. Sometimes you go a bit overboard. Sometimes you have mechanical failures. Well and truly into the closing stages of this one. Two to go on the board. We'll see if they reset that at all. Count back into your laps.
Positions, as I see them, on our timing via Speed Hive. Co Cody Malley is in position one in the current Australia one. Followed by Brody De Bono, New South Wales 10, Marley Sims, Tasmania 32, Jack Eddy, Sun State 54, Callum Manning, Maribara 21, Taylor Stoddard, Maribara 43, New South Wales 44, Madeline Brook, M7, Jai Kant, Yarra Valley, cart 15, Rock Hughes rounding out the top 10 is Ruby Haylock in 117. I can see the 17 machine sitting on the infield. That means Sam Nissa 4 is out. Carts have dropped. We've lost a few of them out of this one. Scattered a few around the infield. Two laps left to run. The junior standard A main brought to us by Partridge Earth moving. And Cody Malley has been virtually unstoppable all weekend. De Bono and Sims. Jack Eddy ripper drive to find himself in the top five. Okay, the green is ready. The yellows are off. You telling me we could have been commentating on that underneath that sunshade and on those beds? That would have been all right. We wouldn't do much commentating if you laid me down <laughs> for five minutes. I'd be doing some snoozing. Cody Malley leads the way over to Bono and Sims. Marley having a fantastic weekend this weekend. Gets herself in the top three. Jack Eddy just loses a little touch with the top three. Manning puts the slide job on down underneath on Eddy. Eddy comes back on the outside. Top three have broken away. The battle is four, five, and six on the racetrack at the moment. Check it, flag flies though. And it's Cody Malley. Brady DeBono home for second. Marley Sims gets home for third. Oh, we got one right up in the dirt. Jack Eddy gets home for fourth over Kaylin Manning. Taylor Stothard, the next one from Madeline Brook. Jai Kant. Ruby Haylock. Then we go back to James Brook, Kane Dunn, Ruby Attard, Lily Bullock, and Chloe Maneve. That is how they finish. But ladies and gentlemen, he's gone back to back. Put your hands together. It's another one for the Maley family. This time it's Cody. Great work again, Macca. Just, they just seem to have so much right. They've been doing it for a long time. They do whatever it takes, bring whatever gear they could possibly need. And well, we saw slick tires on one of their carts earlier. Read the track, read the equipment, know your equipment. Whoops. Well, junior standards, we finally got there in the end. Come on, Maribara, put your hands together for him up there in turn three and four at the bar. Another Australia one going home to the Mallee family. This time it's the junior standards. And that will leave us two more to go. The standard heavy is not too far away. We'll grab a very quick interview with our Australian champion back to back. Icing on the cake, young man. Are uh, they chatting? Yep. And we'll just wait for Cody to have a quick look up. Geez, it's going to be uh, a fantastic trip home for the Mallee family, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be real good. Um, 
I was struggling in that whole feature the whole time. I, uh, I don't even know. I think I was about to fall asleep. I think I need to get to the gym. Um, yeah, kind of lucky I got that because I was just falling away each lap, just getting way too tired. Let's thank everybody that's got you here this weekend, mate. Mum, Dad, Ty, Gary, Mick, Hunter Race Engines, um, Dev Race Cars, Beat the Dark, um, Maryborough Speedway Cars, Pay Per View, um, and all the track crew. Congratulations, mate. What a fantastic weekend. You can go and have a drink now. Thank you. <laughs> back to back Australian titles. Well done for young Cody Melly. The beautiful.